Hey everybody, this is Lorraine from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. How are you guys doing today? This is going to be a reading for both Divine Feminines and Divine Masculines. Um, you guys would have stepped up into your um, ascension. You would have certainly let go. This is about the woke side of this journey. You guys are like really putting in the work, taking action and literally just kind of where I'm to go. So with this, with that being said, this reading is going to be based on uh, like what needs to be welcomed into your life and what needs to leave your life. So this is like out with the old and in with the new. I feel this real, I feel a really good vibe of um, enthusiasm and passion. Um, it's as if I'm rearing to go, but like I feel as if I've got the green light now to make some moves now to move forward with my decision making, which is the masculine side and taking action. And then with the, the feminine side, which would be about the, the, the love of the self, the self-worth, the intuition, um, being guided, and just really about just taking good care of both energies and just kind of working in unison together. And I feel that this is this is kind of like the 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 vibe of what I'm picking up with the collective. So please do take what resonates. It's not about the gender or the star sign. It's about the energy that we are putting out there for ourselves um, so that we can just, you know, co-create with the universe, okay? I'd like to say a big thank you guys to those who have been subscribing to the channel and also um, for your amazing, beautiful, bombastic comments as well, which is really about helping everybody else who you know, is looking for guidance and inspiration, um, you know, and a bit of like, you know, emotional, energetic support, um, you know, during their, during their time as well. Even though we are in separate locations, we have never been more closely together in terms of energy and, you know, this connection that we've got via, you know, YouTube, all right? So without further ado, guys, I'm going to get stuck into this reading. We're raring to go. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm not going to be, um, what I want you guys to do, I need you guys to, you, it was saying to me, use the day, take the date, today's date, which is the 15th of October, take the day's date as a message, work with the number, so it's the 15th today, one and five is six, and um, it's we're saying as well, you can use number one, you can use number five, um, and you can also use number six if you want to. But these three or three numbers or the main number, which would be six in numerology, is going to be the t is going to be the number that you're going to be working with um, today or whenever you get to hear this message. There's a nothing happens by coincidence. Everything happens for a specific reason where the universe is concerned so i you know i'm just gonna go with flow on this all right guys i've just realized i missed out on one of my decks um let's just see <clears throat> i wasn't actually going to use it um i use it all the time it's my bestie um at, at the moment is this um deck um, but I feel, um, I know that I'm more sort of like we use this for the Divine Feminine um, kind of readings, but um, remember, this is the balance that we are bringing in um, from a spiritual aspect, okay? So this is about the, the unity, the union within the self, the balance within the self. This is why we're going to be using this deck today, in, in, in addition with the readings, okay? So we've got the Priestess of Light. Let's get started off first, though, as I said, with the numerology guidance cards. Now, yes, um, please do take the date um, for today. And also, let's see what kind of messages, other, anything else that we've got to throw in uh, using the numerology guidance cards. So first and foremost, we have got self-discipline. Um, certainly it's given me um, Saturn energy. <laughs> we was in Saturn for about five months, wasn't we? And I just see four, 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 and four and one is five. I feel that even from um, looking at it from 
um, if you put it as the 14th, yesterday was the 14th, I'm also picking up that um, it was like this energy was coming in, like creeping in, I feel, um, you know, it was kind of like building up to the point of where, yes, I am going to start to really declutter what else needs to come out from my life, from what I'm trying to bring in. I feel that you know, you now know a lot more within yourselves, guys, with regards to um, hmm, holding the space um, so that you can learn to recycle these energies from what is no longer going to be working for you. But it's about making sure that if, if certain things are not working for you, then they are taking up space. If things are working for you, then they are holding the space, all right? But this comes with self-discipline as well. And you've been rooted and ready to sort of like come from, a, you know, your heart space needs to be intact as well. Feel that there's also a balance between your root chakra and your, um, you know, your heart chakra as well. Okay, so we have got spiritual partnership. To me... I'll be honest with you, the partnership energy is giving me this balance. It's giving me the balance of both the partnership of the feminine and the masculine vibes. Um, this is what I was really compelled to do this reading for you guys today. Crown chakra and your solar plexus as well. What makes you feel good within yourself? Um, got card number 27, 2 and 7 is 9. It's about completions as well. Pride, I feel that this is what needs to go. <laughs> I feel that this is what needs to go. Um, and then on a flip note, um, to sort of transmit that energy, um, this is about the pride that you feel for yourself with regards to the self-discipline. You should be feeling very proud of yourself for being resisting some temptation. Um, it could have been, the, it, guys, it could be the fact that you really are taking serious note of your health your health is 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 part of your wealth as well your knowledge your wisdom that's another side of your wealth as well okay the abundance that you you know you're going to be stemming from internally i'm not talking about money and finances that's too materialistic and that's 3d we're speaking from a 5d percept um perspective i'm sorry perspective okay so feel proud of your achievements that you, you know, that you've been working through. And I feel that this is where it's going to be easier for you to go through these kind of, um, you know, detoxing. One and nine is um, ten. So it's about putting an endings to things as well. We've got five to the ten. In the middle, there's some sort of endings that's going on. So this is really about really getting yourself geared up for new beginnings, guys. Really feeling that a lot. Um, and it's also giving me about 11.11 for November. So getting yourself geared up for the, um, you know, the 11.11 portal. You're making a lot of effort. Yes, you are making a lot of effort in this, you know, really getting stable. And obviously this personal growth, this really is about the, the spiritual journey that you guys are going through right now. All right. Looking at it from a very spiritual perspective the card at the bottom of the deck for you my lovelies is karmic completion i told you good stuff what needs to leave your life from what doesn't what is staying from what's not going and i'm really picking up on a vibe as well guys that you're no longer feeling attached you're no longer feeling attached to toxicity that was really eating away at you lot for a long time okay it was really doing that for a long time um, and, and i feel that you kind of knew it but it was just like, you know, again, I'm picking up on Saturn. I feel that it was about you needing to stay in that lengthy sort of like time of when it was a thing of like, well, you need to learn that life lesson, you know what it feels like. So when I get you moving again now, you know what you need to be getting rid of. All right. And obviously, the longer that you stayed in that kind of zone um, and, you know, again, from um, another another angle at it would have been like your miracles, your blessings would be taking time to be manifesting. OK, but there was a lot of things that were stepping in the way um, that needed you needed to drain your own swamp. That's what I'm hearing. You needed to drain your own swamp. OK, so dropping some truth bombs, you know, clearing out some, you know, um, you know, closets, refrigerators. You know, if you're looking to really sort of like get fit, get healthy, chucking the alcohol down in the sink, you know, even getting a plumber, something really there's a lot of practical things that's going on here. 
because I feel that there, there, there needs to be the balance between your body and your soul, like what you're seeing, what you're working with in your, you know, in your own uh, personal um, reality. It's a real giving, a real shake up, a real clean up. So that's really good. Of course it's good. It's, ex it's excellent. Let's go with the Priestess of Light, guys. Let's go with the Priestess of Light. Spirit, thank you so much. Let's get stuck into this reading for the feminines and the masculines. It's irrespective as to the genders. As usual, Spirit, we're going by the energies. This is what it's all about. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. So, we've got deep emotions, unknown feelings past life influences it's kind of like get, getting getting um or regaining a memory um long lost so this could be you receiving messages um from it well, within your dreams or also if you are um about to undertake a past life regression unknown feelings again having that i said this before in a different reading and it's coming straight back in again as a reminder and to reiterate that it's like for any kind of newness energy that you are now going to be experiencing, stepping into the unknown, it's because now you have allowed yourself the chance and the opportunity to start learning about these new things. It's all about your spiritual partnership and your growth. This is what it's head, heading towards. Your soul needs to ascend to the next level. All right. We have got building your world, creation, expansion, networking creation creating the space in order for you to expand um is something that comes to mind i see 1144 when i said that and this is master builder number 33 okay you want to talk to me who are you we've got wings of light becoming something new i feel that since you know what this reminds me of <laughs> you see that when you was like so restricted in the beginning now that saturn has gone direct it's like like you are just literally flying through now you're going to find that things are going to start to speed up a little bit more quicker for you the delays have come to an end or they are grinding to an, a halt grinding to a stop or they have stopped already um, but i'm hearing also bit by bit not everything is going to come into you towards your way straight away because a it's going to overwhelm you b um there's certain people around you certain energies around you that still need to be cleared out what I'm told to say, not everybody is going to be entitled to see your blessings. So there's a privacy thing going on here as well. We've got death and rebirth and we've got setting boundaries. So this is why things are not going to actually come into fruition for you straight away because you need to make sure that you have learned your life lessons, you put them away, you laid your demons to rest so that you can start to set up your boundaries. Okay, darkness to light and then we have got the threshold protection and honour. You honour this journey so much and i feel that if you are in touch with your spirit guides as well i feel that there's this kind of feeling of like this i understand now i give thanks okay you may have been feeling slightly um irritated slightly bewildered very frustrated because things were not going the way that you know you was hoping and expecting them to but remember what i just said to you with regards to you learning about restriction because I feel that that is going to be something that is going to be required of you into your next karmic cycle. Um, challenges will arise and, you know, discipline needs to be put into place. And I really am picking up a vibe again. It's telling me about the health. Okay, it's telling me about the health. Some of you could have actually received, kind of like had a little health scare. All right. Probably, you know, had a near-death near experience. Um. I know for, for quite a few people who are really stepping in, stepping up into their spirituality, becoming, um, you know, like healers and, and, you know, really stepping up into your high priestess vibes, if that's your journey, if that's your calling, um, you know, some of you would have come close to not even making it as well, or really, you know, had some form of illness or something that has really sort of like left you triggered to change your life you literally had to perk up sit up and pay attention to your body physical format your physical vessel healing earth the power to give and receive healing so i feel that in, in order to go through the healing process and start to become a healer you would have had to experience what pain is like mm -hmm. you would have had to know what pain is like in order to become that healer in order to give and receive healing. 
It's given me this kind of energy of like a personal sacrifice for others, but, but you're holding the space, you see. This is part of your soul mission. Interesting. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull a card from the Spirit Animal. Um, if you identify yourself as having a spirit animal, if you have a spirit totem, um, you know, then you can sort of pull from this. I'm just, because I feel that what is going on here is that there's some of you that may not resonate with, you know, a spirit animal, which is perfectly fine. Um, but uh, as always, just take what resonates from this reading. All right. So your spirit animal, your spirit guides. Okay. Definitely look into um, re researching and reading up on this. If this is, if you're not familiar with the spirit animals, um, definitely look into read up on this as well. This is this is what I do. All right. Um, which animal do you, do you identify as having around you the most? Um, you know. So hold on to that. We've got nightingale spirit. Love is all around. This is gorgeous. All right. Um, <clears throat> self-discipline and the self-love love is all around you need to kind of like um uh, yeah protect the energies you are yeah i see it now all right you're a loving person okay um you kind of like need to like be careful with regards to because you're you see you've got so much light all right, you are a light being, you're a light worker, you are a light warrior. So, um, you know what it said about the boundaries, setting the boundaries, all right? This is what you need to be focusing on as well. And the self-discipline is going to help you to set these sacred boundaries in a in, in place as well and keep it kind of firm. Because love is all around you. Love is, it's within you, it's all around you. It is, a you know, the gift of song and everything like that. So, if your spirit um, animal is a nightingale, if you I you know if you have a, a a beautiful connection with nightingales, if they're one of your favorite birds, um, then please do check this energy out. We have got otter spirit. You are never alone. Definitely working with your spirit guides as well. Love is all around you. Your spirit guides are all around you. All right, and there is this real solid feeling of universal love. I'm gonna pull another card for you guys. Need another card. I'm here and choose one from the pack. All right, I'm going to choose this one. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to go for this one. I'm going with the flow, guys. I'm going with the flow. We've got sn snake so, um, spirit. Time to heal. Healing away from certain things. Um, I'm picking up on Kundalini energy as well. Um, I'm hearing I'm hearing snake oil. Okay, I don't know um, where that kind of came from. That kind of west, you know, the kind of western films. That, um, and it's talking about like these kind of like remedies and snake oil and stuff like that. Um, but this snake spirit uh, is giving me this vibe of healing. Some of you could be um, getting um, pain in your lower back because I picked up on the kund uh, Kundalini um, energy as well. Um, kind of not need to be careful of that area as well. A lot of healing that has been going on. And obviously looking at it from a negative perspective, got to look at both sides of this. I'm, I'm picking up on is that this is about the deceitfulness as well hence this is why you need to make sure that you're picking up a lot more on your boundaries okay and be self-discipline protecting your love energy as well um from certain people the last card that we have got is ant spirit time to collaborate new beginnings that's taking shape new beginnings that's coming in and i feel that you are just so determined right now to give off this as above and so below energy all right because this is where you are now going to be able to manifest like a boss but you would have had to go through a lot of clearances first and you know to become more lighter underneath the card at the bottom of the deck is moth spirit surrender now massive transformation this has already been done i'm told this has already been done 
Because if this wasn't done, none of that would have been possible. All right. So um, again, I'm picking up from the time of when we was in the Saturn energy. Um, and I feel that the length of time that we was in this kind of like stagnant kind of energy, it was like, you know what? Okay. All right. I, just, I surrender. What do I need to work through? And I feel that when you were going through again, that kind of energy of like, well, you know, to reflect, then it's like the it's like something started to become more regulated within your own specific uh, reality, your life as an individual. All right, it's what is working for you guys. I feel that that's what spirit's trying to say here. It's just working in your favor we've got child of the cosmos the intelligence of the universe lies within you i'm also picking up on inner child healing this needs to be done i feel that through your shadow work um that was certainly the case once this child energy has healed you're going to get a stronger feminine and masculine energy um full of union and and a protection of this because it it's giving me like sort of like the sacred trinity within which is going to make it a lot more easier for you to collaborate with not just only the universe but with others around you as well um again it's telling me about obviously the boundaries the um the the, the responsibility energetically speaking from the feminine and the masculine the, the two parents towards the child okay Parent energy. Ah, oh, we have got jump in and jump in energy adventure. Say yes to change. This is where this. This is where I feel that where you are right now. Like really, like I'm getting ready to go. I'm like, yeah, I'm so ready now. Okay. Um, some of you guys are like, yep, I've done my work. I've put in the work. I know exactly what you know. It yes, it hurt like an mf. You know, to let go or to 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 feel that I had to sort of swallow my pride. But swallowing my pride has really and truly set me free. I'm able to see things from a much more different perspective now. And I've made my choice and I choose new adventures right now. I'm really picking that up with this ant energy as well. Time to start collaborating with like-minded souls. The next card that we have got is you are not for everyone. You embrace your weirdness, face your true north. All right. Um, and when, by doing so... Um, this is this is what I'm saying like, again with this vibe of like, well, what needs to leave my life? What needs to leave and then what am I embracing? And I feel if people were going to be judging you, those, those were the first people that had to leave. They were the first people that would have had to go, whether they were your friends, your co-workers or your family members. If they were judging you, uh, yeah, bye. See you later. Have a good one. Um, and no more allowing that kind of energy to be around you again needing to um you know again like protect yourself building your own inner world from within finding um somewhere for you to rest and become more stable and grounded laying down new foundations putting down roots so this could be in the form of you know relocation and if you were somebody that wanted to whatever you want to do with your life with your health it's down to you it's up to you if there's somebody that wants to change your body mass um, through weightlifting or weight training or whatever the case may be, or wanting to learn some form of martial arts, this is going to require self-discipline and a lot of confidence for you to say, well, look, I'm not for everybody. I'm stepping into my uniqueness. All right. And I and this is what, what I'm what I choose to do. All right. So there's some real sort of empowerment guy. Mm -mm -mm. This is good. All right. We have got taking baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. Yeah, this is what you're doing because you're not for everyone. You've already, it's like you've already left the building. You've already left the, the building and, you, and you're just going through. Um, portal changes, yes. I feel that this is the next step for where November comes into effect. It'd be really, really interesting to pull the cards around that month. Okay, great. And we've got a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision, holding that space as well. The card at the bottom of the deck for you all is weight of the world. Boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. Certainly letting a lot of um, heavy stuff go. Draining that swamp until 
you know, there's literally nothing left. So you can, re, you know, replenish it with something that is really refreshing right now for you. Okay, we're going to step into the work your light. Divine feminine, divine masculine. We've got birthing a new age, new creation, birthing new creations, dreaming a world, a new world into being. A lot of new energies, boy. A lot of new energies, new, new era, new, new everything, new you. You need to be, you need to, you would have needed to kind of, I mean, no, I don't mean to say that kind of way, but you know, you, you would have had to drop a lot of, um, yeah, just drop a lot of people that are not, they're not working alongside with you or they just choose to, um, I, I put up a post about, oh, I can't even remember what I said now. Hold on guys, I, <clears throat> I need to tell you guys what it is, just in case, um, Sometimes the message can be helpful to somebody. Um, hold on. I said... Um, I stopped over um, explaining myself when I realised people only understand their from their level of perception. And what I see there is 55, number 55. And even on my camera, I see zero five. So I've got five, five, five going on, guys. This is great. Okay, so this is really telling me about some endings that's going on with you all. Endings, 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 and making way for new beginnings. A lot of shit needs to leave your life. You're fine with it. You're cool. You're letting it go. No more attachments, all right? I'm going to find out a little bit more about what's going to leave your life with the tarot. We have got Lemuria creating heaven on earth. It's happening. A whole shitload of new beginnings. You can't have a dirty, muddy swamp in the middle of paradise. It's not gonna it's not gonna work because eventually that toxicity is going to run in. And I feel that for some of you guys, you let a lot of things slide under the carpet. I have to be honest with you all. And you 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 didn't do the Queen of Swords energy enough. The power of the Queen of Swords, which would be to get logical instead of too emotional and cut off certain people from your life because they were using certain words to keep you stuck. Like, I love you. We're family. Families have to stick together. Blood is thicker than water. All right? A lot of narcissism energy. And, and the, no reciprocity. It was all one-sided. All right? And I'm hearing, as, I've got to say it, it's got it's, it's coming in and some of you were stupid enough to listen to that sorry but i've got to be honest spirit saying that all right but you are not going to be like that anymore in a temple self-discipline devotion tune into the portal of your heart your heart space okay it's the doorway it's where the love is that you go through that door that's where love is that sounds like a song, doesn't it? Where love is. Who sang that song now? Oh, I can't remember. But it's something about where love is. Where love is. I have to think. I have to. Um, I see if I can put it in the description box. Yeah. I'll find out what that song is and then I'll put it in the description box, guys. And we've got the initiation. Mm -hmm. Rite of passage crossing the threshold. You had to deal with a lot of snakes, man. You see the snakes right there in the dark or trying to act like you can't, you know, they don't want to be seen, but you saw them intuitively speaking. There's another one there hiding. You saw them through your intuition. The thing is that intuition, you were born with it anyway. So that, that came natural. And we have got in Rama, where are you being called to journey to? Right. Where are you being called to journey to? So, you knowing that, you know, it's like you need to travel light. You can't travel with so much stuff. You have to travel light. All right, so let's come and see what's happening. What needs to leave your life? I'm going to be using the Moon Child Tarot. And then we're going to tap into the Star Child Tarot to see um, what, what you're welcoming. All right. So the Moon. The Moon. What is hidden? What needs to go? A lot of inner work. All right. What needs to leave the divine feminine and the divine masculine's life? 
moon child tarot. Picking up on the moon, the shadow side. What have you discovered? What have you unearthed that needs to go? All right. I'm going to bring it here so that you can see, guys. First up, we have got this Ace of Swords, the <laughs> Sword of Truth. Yeah. Ready to get that Queen of Swords vibe, you see? Ace of Swords and cut out certain things. You know, it could have been the fact of, like, childish behavior. Sweets, chocolates. All right? A little bit too much of a sweet tooth. Right? I'm hearing that some of you, because I, I just saw the... um picked up on popcorn the sweet and the salty popcorn mix guys yeah that's addictive yeah i know what i'm talking about um but you know just reducing it taking it into into proportion there's a lot of things really that you were ready to cut out of your life this is yeah cutting out cutting out cutting out note of ones cutting out players cutting out this cutting off from this back and forth energy in and out in and out in and out no 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 Okay, and I'm also picking up a yo-yo kind of diet as well. One minute it was up and then the next minute it's down. Um, like you're going to be taking action and it's giving me procrastination. So for some of you guys, it was like, you know, oh, well, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to do this. And then all of a sudden you sort of like pull back and be like, okay, right, well, you know, you, could, you might have been um, sensing like your, you were, your attention was taken somewhere else because... Uh, an, a night of swords energy is like this in and out back and forth business so you really had to get disciplined on this and yes as tempting as and attractive as it can be it's not practical for you hun right so this ace of swords was like nah come on girl come on guy listen no more playing around because you're playing yourself you won't it's not about uh, you know it's giving me the player energy for 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 the feminine that would have been like no more um, messing around and BS from the DM, the distorted masculine. But also, you gotta admit, if this, if you found that you were sort of like um, playing around with your your um, health with regards to really um, drinking, um, you know, unhealthy stuff or like sodas and you know, a lot of processed foods, you would, you needed to come out from that. And I know that for, I'm picking up as well, um, for some of you guys, it's about the meat situation, the meat. So some of you could have been, um, oh, well, I'm definitely giving up meat or I'm going to stop, I'm going to um, reduce it. And then sometimes if you go somewhere, you know, you feel a bit hungry and then you're smelling a really like a tantalizing smell from like some kind of shop, meat shop or takeaway shop, you know, it, it in the beginning stages, yeah. It's that kind of vibe of like, oh my goodness, you're like, oh, I'm really hungry. Now, what you're doing, you'd be like, right, if I have to go out somewhere or go shopping, I'm going to eat first before I go somewhere so that I'm I'm, I'm not going to, I've already eaten or train in your mind because the Ace of Swords would be a mental thing as well, logical to say, well, I'm going to act as if I've already eaten, all right, and stick into my diet or stick into my um, beauty regime, or stick into my exercise regime. We've got the three of cups. So I do feel the thing that really needs to go is all this third party energy. People coming in and, and infiltrating you. And I've just seen three, 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 four. Three, 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 four is a um, number for you all. Mm -hmm. Three, 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 four. All right, third party energy or invites. Oh, come out, come out for drinkies or, oh yeah, let's go out. You need, you would have needed to cut back on that shit. And I feel that for some of you guys of the Knight of Wands, it was, it was quite tempting, wasn't it? You realise, you know, from the moon child's energy, yeah, you need to cut that out because it's like discovering the truth about that. And no, it's not very nice. All right. If people, um, you know, it was always about, um, you know, in the past as well, like, oh, you know, um, giving you, you know, pulling on your heartstrings as well, you know, um, kind of like the outside influence, you're no longer doing that no more. You're honing in on yourself. And it's, again, with this hermit vibe, um, you would have needed to pull back and hold back and cut off certain people. The next card that we have got is the three of ones. Yeah, turning your back, making a decision. Making a decision. You see the moon right there as well 
okay the card at the bottom of the deck so really turning around and really focusing on your future and the card at the bottom of the deck is the five of cups cutting away at the losses getting over it very quickly the ace of swords is logic okay logic it's not going to tie you emotionally to anything it's going to help you to see divine feminine and you divine masculine where it's at and what's going on okay um and what i love about this air sign vibe because it's you know giving me the libra and it's giving me the aquarius energy gemini too all right um you've got the balance from from this the handle as well you need to have the handle and you need to give your temptations the blade because that means that you've got control all right it's not the other way around you don't have no blade and and your temptation has the handle because that means that you're getting controlled yeah you need to make sure that you transmit that energy where you have the handle and your your, your toxic swamp has the blade so that you are ready to cut some mfs up cut a bitch up right okay so what you are going to be embracing into your life what needs to enter into your life divine feminine divine masculine collective what does the feminine and the masculine need to bring in what needs to come into your life what needs to come into your life Hmm. what's going to be working for you what's going to be working for you and what's going to be working for you guys i need to show. so guys i need to do it another couple of times it's not ready yet All right. and these cards are quite big and and very stiff um i hardly use them and i've got a cut in my hand as well for my cat so it's difficult for me to kind of shuffle without feeling that pain. All right, it's ready. So let me just bring this over slightly, guys, so that you can see. Right, first cut up. This is what you need to be bringing in. Thank you. We have got two of cups balance, balance. So you really cut out the two of the three of cups, and you want the balance within yourself. You've got the two of cups now. Two is a company, three is a crowd. No more third parties for you. No more. Thank you, but no thank you. Goodbye, have a good one. See ya. Right? It doesn't matter what they say. Because you see with the five of cups in the reverse, right? It would have been about the three of cups that you would have been um, been um, sort of like cut up over with the third party energy. But without you realising it, that you had would have had the two of cups behind you, that's what you needed to be focusing on. You see, I have the three of cups and the two of cups is here, which would have been the five. Yeah? That's your focus. That's your balance. Emotionally stable. And I'm also picking up on feminine and masculine energies in order to bring the feminine, um, the feminine and the masculine energies together to form, you know, this, this soulful um you know existence and it's like yeah you can rest easy now balancing the energies within the one body within the soul as well this is really powerful shit we have got the five of crystals stepping out of this you know you need to be um you know like coming up from the lack energy all right so you need to embrace this feeling of like not feeling left out all right, transmitting that vibe. Okay, so you need to bring this in, not this. All right, you need to, you're getting rid of this, but you're bringing it in this way. So to do with a lot of stability in finances, working on your finances. Now that you've left out on the third party energy, it's going to allow you to become more balanced within yourself so that you're able to tackle this a lot more. The next card for the collective, bringing in now, Knight of Crystals. So I'm just pop that over here in a minute. So with the Knight of Crystals, which is the Knight of Pentacles, um, if it's in the upright position, it will be slow as God knows what, all right? Taking about a thousand trillion years to come towards you. But now with the Knight of Crystals, um, 
in the reverse or the knight of pentacles in the reverse it's no longer feeling like you know like you're, you're nervous or you're wary okay and also this feeling of like really being slow you're, you're able to kind of like allow it to come in now um it can come in now a lot a little bit more quicker for you as well long-term offers what i'm seeing here already from this from what you need to be bringing in and i'm also picking up as well um yeah the finances learning to save your money as well learn to save your money um we have got the wheel of fortune so things are going to turn around for you this is what you need to be bringing in fortune and this 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 feeling of um it's like going with the flow, allowing this, like, you, you, it's like not going against the grain, all right? Allowing change to come in when it's going to come in, it's going to be really, really amazing for you. And this is about 10 of a karmic completion in order to begin a new cycle for you. And the card at the bottom of the deck for you guys that you need to be embracing and welcoming in, success, the sun card success birthing um a new age as well it's just giving me so much success guys all right that's what you need to be doing because you've surrendered now and you, you know it's all coming in beautifully for you the moment that you change your mindset guys everything falls into place all right let me finish off this reading for you collective with some messages from the universe has your back this is some really feel good vibes that I want to end on because this is a this is a real vibey a nice reading, um, positive. I like to keep it positive, guys, as best we can. And we have got joy is the ultimate creator. Joy is the ultimate creator. I'm going to give you three more cards. Thank you. We have got the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender. The moment, sorry, the the outcome is the moment. I'm going to read that bit again. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So you, it's like you stepped out of your own way. So the, so the moment that you just surrender the outcome and think, well, you know something, okay, let me just trust the universe, all right? Because you're allowing this to come in for you, the wheel of fortune, which at the bottom of the deck is bringing you the success and it's the sun. It's a new cycle that's coming in right? It's the universe now is going to really and truly get to work because you've done the work for yourself. Your, your part of the bargain was trusting the universe with the initiation, all right? Um, Self-discipline, okay? No longer attempted with any third-party crap and feeling, oh, left out and all this lack business energy. You cut that out. What you're welcoming in now is getting up from off the floor, from feeling left out in the cold and going off now to build your own stability, okay? And if you felt left out, um, you know, it's short-lived. It's something that, remember, the, the disappointments are blessings in disguises. We have got, sorry, are blessings in disguise. We've got, when I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Working on that kind of energy right now is bringing about a lot of success and a lot of peace within. So nobody can't come at you with everything because... You know within yourself that you're not for everybody. You're so unique. Just that everybody else is as well, which makes it more like, yeah, you know, we're all different, but we are all connected in a, in, a, in, a, in a certain way. And it's all about the peace of mind at the end of the day. Let go and let peace come in, you know? Last card for you guys. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. Um, certainly stepping into your, for doing things for your higher purpose, doing things for your higher purpose and feeling a lot of joy, um, you know, and happiness and a lot of love. Um, the moment that you just kind of stepped away, the moment that the swamp was drained, you really could feel like a feeling of like, oh my God, I feel so like it's over. I can really, really feel that I've, I've achieved a lot. And again, I'm just remembering the pride energy as well, the pride card. Feel really proud of your achievements because it wasn't easy, all right? And the card that we have got is my vibes speak louder than my words. That's why I said, 
that's what I had to show you guys, right? Um, that's what I had to show you all, that you stopped, I stopped over explaining myself and I realised um, people only understand from their level of perception. Your vibes speak louder than your words. So you don't really need to explain yourself. As I said, I fully agree with this image. If you know your worth, then there's really no need to waste your time explaining this to others that have a limited or who purposefully limit their perception of you and probably everybody else. So that's why you needed to cut away from people that were like leaving you feeling really trashy, you know, or enticing you to go out. So if, if they can see that you're working on yourself, and you're trying to invest in yourself and you're trying to do really well and better yourself so that you can help. You know, it's about your life journey. It's about your life path at the end of the day, your life purpose, your soul mission. And if people can't see or they don't want to understand or respect the fact that you need your personal space, you need, you're, you're trying to better yourself to become a higher version of yourself. But it's also about helping others. If, if your own so-called friends can't see that for you, then you, you don't have friends there. You've got people that's in competition with you and that's frenemies. That's frenemies. I don't care how long you've known them for. And again, remember what I said to you as well, um, the feeling of like this narcissistic kind of energy and the snakes, you know, appearing to sort of like coming out from all of the woodwork, whatever's in darkness comes to light, right? So when they'll be all telling you about, oh, but what, you know, I love you. It could be like a real dodgy, you know, pastime lover or like, you know, sort of messed up jealous family member that's trying to sort of like make you feel restricted that you can't think for yourself or you can't make these life decisions for yourself um or, or who do you think you are you think you're too nice you think you're better than us don't you like you're acting as if you don't know nobody I'm like get the fuck out of my face with that shit i'm sorry for swearing guys i was doing really well but that's what she, like so no 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 and that's why i would have to queen of swords you because that i never came into this world just as i know that everybody else as well i never you know my mum never went through hours and hours of labor pain just so that um i could come into this world and just sit there and be a victim for anybody and that is where the energy of the the feminine and the masculine takes effect because about this is about the fact that you love you have to put in the love for yourself um and throw the love out for others as well love and let them go cut them off and let them go all right but you need to take action you're not a victim, you are a victor, all right? Cut off that victim mentality because it's going to leave you stuck and full of regrets when you reach a certain age or when it's your time to leave this earth. And then you've got to come back in again to learn up all of these blasted life lessons, all right? So this is what I've got for you guys. This is amazing stuff. It's all about what you are going to be cutting out from your life. Thank you, um, spirits most high. Thank you so much for this reading. And what I'm really, really grateful for as well is the fact that what you needed to cut from your life in, in the first, you know, card for the spread was the Ace of Swords. Truth is going to set you free. Thank you guys for watching this reading. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for hanging around as well for it as well. Um, don't forget that um, I am on Facebook as well. So you can follow me there, guys. Answer a few questions if you'd like to join my um, Facebook group. It's private. Um, so, you know, it's more safe for you to kind of talk about, you know, certain things of your past experience. If you, you know, um, if you feel comfortable to, obviously. Um, and also I am on Instagram as well. So you can follow me there. I do shorter readings, you know, just like yeah keep it general keep it friendly but here's where like you get like the real kind of readings as well so guys thank you again so much for watching my name is Lorraine I am your host and your reader from the Sacred Alchemist 1111 I bid you a beautiful blessed day may you have lots of um love light knowledge wisdom and protection I will be back with another reading take care of yourselves and peace out